Our final experiment puts the power of taking control to the test. Research has suggested that the amount of control we have over our lives has a direct influence on life expectancy. When older residents move into care, there's a very strong correlation, an inverse correlation, between their length of stay and how happy they are. And that's not because they're not very well cared for, often they're extremely well cared for. We believe that it's got a lot to do with how empowered they feel. I'm looking over a four-leaf clover. In this wing of a progressive care home in Somerset, there are eight residents, ranging from 77 to 96 years old. They're already offered many choices in their day-to-day -day lives but today the reins are going to be transferred entirely into their hands. They've agreed to participate in a research study run by three psychologists from Exeter University in which they'll be asked to make all the decisions about the redesign of their communal lounge. The psychologists hope that by increasing the control they have over the lounge and encouraging them to spend more time together in it, they will experience an increase in brain function and well-being. What's today's date? The psychologist will test memory, language and attention skills before the makeover and repeat the same test two weeks later. Do you know the name of the current Prime Minister? <laughs> well, I know it, but... Uh, that, that, that big-headed fellow, don't they call him? Um, oh, what's his name? Now, do you know the name of the man who is US President at the moment? President Kennedy. Oh, 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 so these of this type is the interventions of the form that we're seeing here can actually enhance people's alertness they're more engaged they're more capable of engaging and they're living richer fuller lives when you're my age nothing exciting happens very much so you've got to go out and find it and here it is come to me doll lovely <laughs> it is quite a surprise to find myself on television. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to have a laugh, haven't you? <laughs> Hi, everyone. The residents get cracking on the redesign. They must choose a paint colour for one of the walls. I think that's too light. You would have it more. I'm not keen on the red at all. I'm not keen on the red. The favourite colours were that, yeah? And that. How about the yellow as well? Yeah. Well, let's have a look at the yellow. I don't like the yellow at all. They must also choose pictures and plants to redecorate the room. The tall one. The tall yes, one. one. This yes. one here. Yes, okay. I think so, Michelle. What do you think? Do you think it works? Yeah. I, mean, I, I think those two would be nice. They would be nice against the main green plant. It's not too bright, is it? Well, it's a good choice of yours then, don't you think? Yes, it's very nice, isn't it? It's pretty good, I think. I think it's it's really nice. it's beautiful, I think. Oh, nice. Oh, it's very yes, nice. Yes, I like it. It's very nice. I think it's very nice, Michelle. Uh, it's lovely. It's wonderful. It's that. It looks lovely there, doesn't yeah. it? Beautiful. But will the freedom to make their own choices actually have a scientifically measurable effect? 